Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some more dolls out of my doll collection. These two dolls I'm going to need to have you guys' help with. Um, I do not know who they are and I don't know who the maker is. They are, def they are uh, not marked. Um, I did purchase them together uh, at a flea market. I got them for about six, seven dollars, somewhere in there for the pair of them. And um, I got them, I usually don't try not to purchase from the flea market composition because there could be some underlying issues with them, but um, they came just as they are and so I was able to see all the issues right away. And um, the one thing that, um, the one thing that really stood out to me is the fact that one, their composition, and this one's in really good condition, and they both have tin eyes. And uh, so that dates them back to the early 1930s, uh, possibly the late 20s. And um, so I, <laughs> for that price, I, I definitely, definitely wanted to get this one. Um, like I said, she doesn't have any original clothing on, but, um, and no markings. So if she looks familiar to anybody, um, please leave it in the comments for me. Uh, I will do some deeper research to see if I can um, possibly find out uh, who she is. I'd say she's about uh, 14 inches tall. Um, her tin eyes are in really, really good condition. A little bit of rubbing, but not too bad. A um, little bit of rubbing on her lips as well. She does have an open mouth with teeth, and they are inside of there. You can see them in there really really good condition her paint is in excellent excellent condition uh it's original wig um the hairstyle kind of makes me think that she should be wearing um like a bonnet or a hat of some kind um but uh still trying to maintain the original hairstyle so that's uh th this doll is just in really good condition um looks like she may have been restrung at some point because her arms are really really tight so it makes me think that they tried to put uh, and hook her arms to the head and the legs. The head and the legs are usually um, hooked together and then the arms are usually hooked together. So I don't know what they did inside that her arms are really, really, uh, they're not strung correctly, but um, that's something that's easily, easily uh, fixed. Um, there's nothing else wrong with her composition. Um, this doll is in excellent condition. Just really, really nice. Uh, no cracking, uh, no, um, uh, nothing wrong with the composition. So for 1930s doll, for uh, half that price would have been three dollars. Um, really, really good condition uh, for this doll. So I was very, very pleased. But if anybody um, recognizes this doll and can help me identify her, uh, please leave that in the comments for me. Uh, this doll here, she's the one that's got a little bit of issues going on. But um, again, she has the tin eyes, and so. Um, she does have some cracking, but um, uh, not not what I would say would uh, totally destroy the doll. I mean, I'm not a pristine collector, so um, if, if I was a pristine collector, I'd be paying close attention to these cracks because they are definitely, you know, this one's really, really deep. But as a whole, uh, the doll is really, really pretty. She still has a fairly clear, uh, unscuffed uh, metal eyes. Um, she does still have uh, her eyelashes, and the other one has her uh, eyelashes as well, which is another really, really nice thing. Uh, usually those eyelashes get really, really dry and fall off. It does appear that um, somebody did touch up her lips, but they didn't do too bad of a job. I just, um, I probably wouldn't have used such a bright color, but um, I guess with the dark hair, um, she's, she's still a beautiful doll. Uh, and I do think that they replaced her wig. Um, it seems like it's a, it's very dry but it seems like it's uh it's like a newer wig so uh it's not definitely not like the other doll but um still in relatively good condition for uh for being from the 30s um so her body problems <laughs> uh, her arm this arm here uh very strange uh the paint that's going on i'm not too sure what happened to this doll but um there's nothing wrong with the composition it's in the paint so um this can be definitely, I'm pretty sure somebody could restore this, but it's not in the composition. The composition is fine. It's just the outer coating of the paint that's uh, cracking. I don't know what would have happened. It looks like maybe possibly heat. But um, so um, 
doll hospital for that or a replacement arm. Um, the other one's okay. Uh, just again, like I said, it's got kind of a strange, um, I, don't, I don't know how to describe that, uh, the body as well. Kind of a strange uh, texture to it, like it wanted to crack off, but it didn't. Um, but nothing, nothing that I can tell is wrong with the uh, composition. Uh, she does still have on what I would think is her original um, stockings, uh, and I haven't pulled these off to see what the um, what the legs look like. But um, I don't feel anything in there that might be a problem so I don't feel like there's any cracks or anything but um, I will take those off <laughs> I don't want to put, take them off right now because uh, I, if they are in bad condition I don't want to lose any part of it but um, so I'll just leave those on but um, for the most part um, for the price that I got these dolls for and for as, as old as they are they are in really really good condition um, I think when I have this doll restored, I might see if um, I might see if they can uh, do something with the hair to make it look more vintage. Maybe not take it off. I, I'm a little worried to you know if they've replaced the wig, which it seems like they have, because it's really really on there. Um, I don't want to. There is a little bit of cracking right there on the paint. Um, I don't want to hurt the uh, composition anyway. And looks like on this side too, there's a little bit of paint that's missing. But like I said, it's just the outside paint. It has nothing to do with the composition, which is really, really nice because um, body-wise, um, I'm not adverse to um, having somebody work on the, uh, the, uh, the paint on the body. The face, I'm not too sure. Um, I know that restoring it uh, definitely can hurt the uh, value of the doll. I know that she does have some cracks and she's probably not worth a lot, but um, to just have a piece of history is just really, really a neat thing. That's a good portion of the reason why I collect vintage dolls. So, um, still a beautiful doll, uh, but the reason why I bought the, the two of them was for this one because she is definitely in awesome condition. So if anybody has any information on these dolls, um, can help me... Um, identify them, the maker, um, what their names would be, um, please leave that in the comments for me. I am so anxious to find out um, who they are. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.